HBO presents One Night Stand with comedian Patrice O'Neill. Ladies and gentlemen, Patrice O'Neill. Thank you, thank you, everybody. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, thank you. So how many people getting sick of the Hindu obstacle course at the airport? It's just, it, it's, I mean, I'm a racist, but it's, it's, it's getting, and I don't mind foreigners, but don't be from your, like, from your country. Like, you, it's okay to be originally from there, like your parents and grandparents, but you can't be from India and evil devil for my evil devil <laughs> ID. You go, what the f I know I'm American. I, I gotta be more American than you, because I don't go evil devil, <laughs> evil devil, evil devil ID, boarding pass. Man, I know my voice proves I'm American. Like, I need another, I need an American voice to ask me for my shit. But you can't get rid of the double day dudes because they're amazing. Like, who else will work at a 24-hour Brooklyn gas station with no bulletproof vests and no gun? <laughs> and curse niggas out if they don't have less than a 50. I mean, people double. People double, double, double. You need something small, please, in double, 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 double day. You can't get rid of them because they do jobs nobody else is going to do. That's why you can't really, listen, what is this thing where we're trying to get Mexicans out this country? Who else is going to work without Mexicans? And who else is going to work? Who else would drive a bicycle? on the highway. Who else would ride a... Who else would ride a... Wait a minute. Who else would ride a bicycle on the highway against traffic to deliver you a panini sandwich for lunch? On time. Who else... Who else is gonna, uh, kick in your hotel door to make your bed besides some little Mexican woman who has an ethic? She has to make your bed. I have to. I have, I have to make, hello, and she knocks, and she fucking punches the door, and she scares the shit out, she kicks the fucking door, and the chain is on, hello, hello, and you're like, miss, the chain is on, I'm alive, the chain's on the door, you don't have, ma'am, please, look, I, I, please, I must make your bed, I must make your bed, I must make your bed, please, oh, please, <laughs> please, oh, <laughs> we pull out a fucking IPOs Mio shit. Please, please. I, and she's trying to squeeze in through the space, through the chain space. Like, I, hello? Hello? I must make you hello? I wish I never traveled, for real, for real, because I, I, I would like to just never had traveled outside this country, and then I could hate America and be happy, you know what I'm saying? But I traveled, and now it's like, I'm, now I like America, but I still hate, it's weird, I hate it, but it, it, it's, it, it's nowhere better, because all I got to really deal with is racist crackers like that, and that's, that's it's funny, because like, I don't, black people really don't look at white people with like, you're the oppressor anymore. It's just something we do. It's just like, we like not liking white people. And <laughs> white people like not liking us. It's like, it's just, that's just what we do. It's just, because I'm not going nowhere. And I'll kill a motherfucker he tell me to go like, back to Africa. But listen, I'm talking to black people. Stop that fucking horse shit, that go back to Africa shit. First of all, Africans, don't like black people. That's first of all. <laughs> they don't like us. And what the fuck am I gonna do in Africa? 
besides fighting some war wearing uh, sweatpants and tuxedo shoes <laughs> with a fucking <laughs> with a fucking machete in my hand with a pair of fucking tuxedo shoes <laughs> and a knife and, and fighting some goofy ass fucking war. Fuck it. What's wrong with the rest of this world, man? They honest too much, man. You, if you travel, you know. If you travel, you know how much they own this country. And I'm not a nigga, no place else but here. Every place else, I'm American. I gotta figure out how to be an American. I had to learn that shit. <laughs> See a nigga f like arguing, like, hey, let me tell you something about the Star Spangled Banner, buddy. And you be like, oh. <laughs> like I don't defend America, but you go to another country, you just, I just, I just do it. And I try to tell people, this is no, people think we're weak, but we're not a weak country. It's just, look at 9-11. I'm going to tell you something about this country. 9-11, man, is, look, I live in Jersey City, and I've seen the, the World Trade Center shit happen. And right, it used to be, you know, people after the buildings fell, people go down to them holes and be crying and shit. Now you go down there, and the holes are the, the tourist attraction. You know what I'm saying? The people are, like, taking the, the shout-out uh, pictures. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> in front of the holes. Because that's how we are. We have to accept how we are. We just, that kind of country. 9-11 is, I got, I, I, uh, 10 more years before it's a holiday. <laughs> Hamburger, hot dog, holiday. If you think it's not, just think about our country. We don't celebrate like Peach Cobbler Day or, you know, Honeydew Melon Day. We celebrate horrible shit. Mommy, how come we looking for painted eggs in the bushes? Well, sweetie, cause the Jews and the Romans fucked Jesus up. They whooped his ass. Beat the shit out of him. Now let's have fun. <laughs> let's have a wonderful time finding these eggs on the back of Jesus, sweetie. And please pray for the Indians that died getting musketed in the face so we can enjoy this turkey <laughs> and cranberry sauce and watch the football game. Give those fucking engines. Give those red motherfuckers some love, those drunks. Just give them some love for getting shot up. <laughs> Indians get two gruesome holidays. They get Columbus Day too, God bless them. I mean, we got a couple of good holidays. We got Mother's Day and Valentine's Day, but you don't get the day off of that shit. I don't give a fuck how much you love your mama. You better, you better bring your motherfucking ass to work, because did your mother get beat up, motherfucker? Did she die? Did she get crucified? Well, then fuck that bitch. You better come in and, you better come in and work. Call a bitch from the phone, a pay phone, and say, I love you, but you better get your... I got mad at the tsunami shit. I got angry at that shit. Now we can talk about it now because the news don't talk about it no more, so that means we don't we don't really care. <laughs> like when I was watching the shit, I kept going, God damn, that don't look like that movie the day after tomorrow or <laughs> this shit don't look horrifying. I would have died definitely, because it didn't I just would have stood there and been like, ooh, look at this. Ooh. <laughs> it's a high one coming. That shit didn't look horrific, but evidently it was. But if you live in New York City, first of all, you can't really get that fucked up over natural disasters, uh, especially if you're black. Uh, black people, just niggas do not die in natural disasters. It doesn't happen. That's something between Asians and white people. Asians die in natural disasters. They die in earthquakes and floods and shit. And white people die with all wind related. Shit. Like God's, God's trying to blow white people away. But the tsunami shit fucked me up because, again, this foreign shit. Motherfuckers start attacking Bush, okay? But when he attacked Bush, you attacking the country. And I'm not really on some Bush shit, but, but you can't attack this motherfucker. They said he didn't apologize quick enough for the tsunami. Like, he didn't get up out of bed and make a speech <laughs> for the tsunami shit. First of all, it was the day after Christmas. Second of all, only about 2,000 people 
died at that time. So that's like, what, well, you know, yeah. You know. It's a billion of them motherfuckers over there. 2,000? It didn't start getting fucked up till like six figures, like 100, goddamn, 100,000, shit! But they start cursing this motherfucker up because he didn't get up and make this. First of all, let's be honest, let's just be honest. I don't think the motherfucker know where Indonesia is <laughs> on the map. Neither does he give a fuck. Like, if you ask him, where's Indonesia? He'd be like, oh, ask the uh, secretary of uh, giving a fuck with. Ask this black bitch. <laughs> ask, this, ask, this, ask this black bitch always next to me. I don't know where the fuck Indonesia is. You think he'd give a fuck where Indonesia is? Plus, you know when he got the memo, the first thing he did was look at it and go, oh boy, first of all, what the fuck is a taxonomy? <laughs> and everybody, everybody's scared and shit. Everybody's scared to tell him it's tsunami, Mr. President, because he'll smack the shit out of him and tsunami. What the fuck? Is that a T? Is that a T? Is that a S? It's tsunami. I'm gonna smack this shit. So next motherfucker come in here and tell me how to pronounce a motherfucking word. I will smack you through this motherfucking wall. I mean, when you watch the news, you, when you're home alone, man, certain things just, you know, you feel differently uh, when you, than when you're in public. If people ask you, like, Scott, like, let me, let me, like, Scott Peterson, let me qualify what I'm getting ready to say right now is that I believe people are guilty or innocent based on the fact of whether I think they are or not. <laughs> I don't have any other proof. I just go, I don't think the motherfucker... <laughs> I never thought Mike Tyson... And the reason I'm saying this because motherfucker now he's fighting like farmers. They got Mike fighting anybody just to say, Mike, we want to see you knock a motherfucker out again. He was so special as a knockout artist. We hated to see him when he got on the rape beef that I never believed, especially based on the last interview we had with uh, Greta Van Susken. And he goes, she goes, what do you have to say to your victims, Mike? He goes, well... I wish I hadn't really raped the bitch. <laughs> and her mama. I wish I hadn't really raped the bitch and her mama. And I'm like, whoa, that is an innocent man. That's the, I'm telling you, only an innocent man could be that angry and say some shit that fucked up. Like, I, I, I wish I had a rape so I'd have been in jail for something instead of raping the bitch and I really didn't. So that's Mike's way of like figuring it all out. And her testimony years ago, which cut me off, even without the interview, but interview solidified it. Her testimony, he forced oral sex on me. And I said, damn, he made you suck his dick? That's terrible. He ate a pussy. That's when it was like, case, <laughs> case dismissed. Cause what rapist tries to make you feel wonderful? I, I've been eating pussy a long time. And I never eat it rapey. How the fuck do you do? Shut up, bitch, shut up! Shut up, I need your pussy. Shut up, boy! Boy, I peel away the outer lips and slide the hood back to expose your clitoris for maximum stimulation. Shut the fuck up! You can't even make a mean face while you eat pussy. You can't, you be like, shut up! This shit. <laughs> Has any woman in here been getting a pussy eating and been going, help, please? <laughs> help, he's eating my pussy, somebody do something. <laughs> Shut up, nobody hear your cries. <laughs> uh, I knew that dude Mark Hackey did it. That Mark, Mark Hackey's the other Scott Peterson, but he, he didn't get away with it, he admitted he did it right away. He just couldn't take the pressure, but I knew he did it immediately. Cause he was on TV crying, being dishonest. He was on TV, <laughs> oh, please, please, 
help me find my missing wife, please. And I was like, that motherfucker killed his wife. <laughs> Why? Because no man cries over his missing <laughs> wife. That's not enough. We don't like you like that. I'm a party for a week before I be like, hold up, hold up, turn the music down. This bitch is missing. Hold up, yo, you see this bitch? Where's she at? The bitch is a pile the fuck up. I, I wish she at? His reaction wasn't honest. We do not like you like that. Here's me tell you what would happen if you came up missing. First, a day go by, he's like, she's cheating on me. The second day, we don't even think about you. We start thinking about ourselves, like, oh, they're gonna think I killed this motherfucker. <laughs> So the whole second day, you're like, God damn, I should call the cops, but they're going to think I killed this, but I didn't kill her. So the third day, you call her like, oh, uh, officer, my wife is, I, I, am I calling too, too early? She's been missing for three days. Is that too early to call you? I, how did I know that she was gone? Well, I, I haven't been miserable for the last couple of days. <laughs> yeah, the bitch is missing. You feel that shit? I'm asking to talk to the fellas. Did you feel that just now? Did you feel the vaginas? Like, you feel that shit? It's funny, like, I love that shit when the pussies just, like, you f did you feel how the womb just stop? When the pussies just, they give you the pussy beam. You feel it when they just look at you? Like, like I'm supposed to stop what the fuck I'm wanna say and shit, and they just, they just. You feel them? Like pussy powers activate. Form of form of a giant pussy. Shape of a billy club. <laughs> Look, don't be upset about do do your job. That's your job is just to make men's fun miserable. Your job is to when motherfuckers is right at the cusp of having a great time, y'all just Fuck it up. <laughs> look at all the guys sitting straight ahead, looking straight ahead, not even giving the bitch peripheral. She, the niggas ain't even like this, because they know the pussy bean. <laughs> but that's what y'all do. As soon as y'all get to something y'all don't like, it's just... Shut it down. But really, fundamentally, on a, just on a primal level, we don't like you. We don't <laughs> like you. We don't ever want to really see you. It, like, you never heard four guys hanging out at a party, right? And one, one of them goes, you know what would make this party even better? <laughs> if my girl was here. <laughs> She's funny as a motherfucker. And the only reason you get that we don't go get the fuck out of here is because you, you, women are the worst terrorists there are. <laughs> Worse than Al-Qaeda, because this is what y'all do. You hold a pussy hostage <laughs> and threaten to kill it if we don't listen to your horrendous nonsense. <laughs> and you make it read a letter. The pussy be reading the letter. <gasps> Please. <laughs> Listen to a story where she's gonna kill me and you'll never see me again. Look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him, look at him. Look at him. This posture, this ain't good when girls do this. Girls do that. He hates women. He hates women. Somebody gotta tell you. ask you a question. Here's a question. Here's a good, serious question. Okay, ladies, if you didn't have a vagina, like say it was a terrible train accident, right? And the doctor was like, we have to remove your pussy right away or you're going to die. How would you keep your man past, you get a two month guilty, I can't leave the bitch right away because she just lost a pussy in a train accident.
can't just walk right out on them. How would you keep your man past that if you didn't have a vagina? Wow. Nothing? You can talk. You can talk. Suck his dick. Okay. Mouth. Asshole. Okay. Great. Do you see what I'm saying? Now, I've been getting pussy beam the whole show, right? But I give women the opportunity to say, I'm going to make myself worth more. But you just classified yourself as a series of holes. But, <laughs> but I, you know, I'm, I'm supposed to treat you special, but you're just a bunch of holes to yourself. No one said learn how to play Xbox, learn how to play pool, <laughs> tell better stories, get another bitch that got a pussy to come on in. Well, look, whatever. Plus, when you get a certain age, pussy is not what it was when you was younger. I like pussy differently. I don't know what the difference is, but it's like I don't get excited about the idea of getting pussy. Like, I only fuck so I have a memory to jerk off to later. <laughs> I can't enjoy it until later on when I'm jerking off to it. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be good as a motherfucker later. When I'm beating off to it, when I can just really enjoy this shit. Instead of looking. I've been jerking off in the shower so long, I'm surprised a baby hasn't crawled out the drain yet. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know what it is? Like, it's sad. It really is. Like that you feel so comfortable making us miserable. It's, it's, I don't understand what it is. Like, what is that? What is it? Well, you just go, hey, I'm comfy. I'm just comfy. It's reverse rate. It's not the same rape like men inflict upon women. And, and, and if you could, ladies, you would. You would rape us. You would come out of a bush with a gun. Give me some dick, motherfucker. <laughs> but we'd be, la we'd be laughing if you would. First of all, what you got a gun for? <laughs> Shut up, motherfucker. Pull your dick out. You'd be like, Ugh. Now you got to pretend to be scared. Oh, God. Oh, oh please. Oh, make me fuck you. It, it, it just... So what you do is it's emotional. It's a different kind of rape because you don't deal with rejection. Women are not built to be rejected on a daily basis. So if you was to let a guy know how you feel about him every day, and he's like, look, I don't like you like that, that would just destroy you. So what you do is you force us to have emotions first that you already have, but you make us say it first so you don't get rejected from your emotions. Here's woman rate, ready? You miss me? <laughs> <clears throat> and if you say no, I don't miss you, then she, she kills the pussy, the pussy's dead. <laughs> but if you say yes and you don't mean it, that means you are, that's where the rape is. I've said, I, honey, hey, I love you and didn't mean it and I want to take a shower after. I want to lay in the tub <laughs> in the fetal position and cry. Because <laughs> I lied to a bitch about how I felt now she thinks I like it like that. <clears throat> and we do that because you can't, women can't handle, like, surface happiness. You just won't be happy surfing. You got to ask a question all the time. You ever eat a girl's pussy for the first time and she goes, can I ask you a question? Have you done that to a lot of other women? <laughs> yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Did I look like I had any difficulty finding where the fuck to go? Oh, that's my spot. How'd you know? Because it's everybody's spot, bitch. You're not special? Behind the neck. What, you got different nerve endings? And... You want to know how to keep your man happy? I'm telling you, because it's desire you want. You don't want the guy to just fucking, like, be into you because you want him to be. You want him to love you and shit. Here's how you do it. First of all, first thing you do, don't ever talk to him. Don't <laughs> talk to him ever. <clears throat> <clears throat> just shut the fuck up. Just don't, with your nonsense, don't talk. Just don't talk. He'll love you if you leave him the fuck alone. 
Secondly, in the bedroom, you gotta be a, a $15 hooker. <laughs> Disgusting. You gotta embarrass your parents. You gotta do shit that's, you gotta do horrendous, horrendous shit in the bedroom. You have to. If you don't, he's gonna leave you. Because we need filth. We're visual. We're visual. So you have to be a whore and, 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 and like, you ever fuck a woman with dignity all the time? Like she always has self-respect and you're trying to push her head down in the pillow and lift her ass up. And she's like, gets into some civil rights shit where she won't go down. Like, <sighs> and she's looking at you like, you, you ain't gonna subjugate me and put me and slave me. Now, I don't even argue no more. I, just, I don't even get, as soon as I feel that shit, I just take both arms and pull them back and her head just. <laughs> Now, I tried, I tried to give you the opportunity for us to be a partnership. Like, when you're a whore, be a whore for you. Don't be a whore for me. We know the difference. Be a whore. Like, when you suck dick, don't go, ugh. Never do. Make a sound between retarded and choking. That's sexy to us. Like, just. And, Act like you and brush your teeth. <laughs> that motherfucker be like, Jesus Christ, this bitch is a fucking whore. I gotta marry this bitch. You, you wanna get married? <laughs> I gotta go, man. I'll take that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. much. Ladies, I was bullshitting about all of that. I, I was just joking. I was hoping I'd get some pussy after the show. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Y'all take care.